<laughs> Are you Professor Pinier Aeronox at your service, Commander? It is an honor, sir, to have you on board. The honor should be mine. I have been waiting to get a good look at this monster myself. Well, I hope you understand the possible danger of this exposition. I do, I do. But I must ask, how do you plan to kill this monster? Look at this catch! And that's just from sitting here on the docks. He will kill the monster. Nedlin, Harkunis, at your service. Look out there! The sea monster! Commander, try and creep close enough for a harpoon to be cast. Watch this! <laughs> Ned, your harpoon! It's going under us. Now it's on the left. Now it's on the right. And now... It's right in front of us! Whoa! Island! My harpoon! It is the beast. Perhaps you've killed it. This is no beast. My theory was right. It's a ship that sails under the water. A man-made thing. A tremendous submarine with the motion power and magnitude under dream of a mortal man. Here we are, Professor. The place I wanted most to show you. The lost city of Atlantis! Ah, oh, these crumbling heaps of stone betray the hand of man. See, some scholars theorize a remarkable civilization was destroyed by a tremendous volcano. Others treat the mere concept of Atlantis as pure fantasy, along with legends of sea serpents and mermaids. Professor, uh, are you seeing mermaids and sea serpents of your fiction? Will I then meet anyone in his right mind know there's no such thing as a sea serpent or a mermaid? Okay, take that! Stop attacking us, you monster! Ah, help! It's got me! Oh no, you don't! Take that! 